Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us live right here in Houston at the Republican Party of Texas Convention. I'm Brandon Walton, the managing editor here at Texas Scorecard. As you can see, there's a lot of activity happening here. We've got a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of interviews, a lot of conversations for you up at TexasScorecard.com and our Facebook page as well. Right here sitting next to me, we've got State Representative Brian Slayton, who's among the uh, Republican lawmakers who decided to take the trip down here to Houston and join what is literally thousands of Republican grassroots activists from across uh, the state. How would you describe this year's convention, the, the, the feeling of this year's Republican convention? Well, I, I think I think everybody's pretty excited. I think people realize just how bad the Democrat Party is and how bad their policy is. And uh, we're unified and we're against it. And we're frustrated with those Republicans who choose, you know, to betray us. Um, but I think people are excited. We, they know what's at stake, right? Our, our, our country, our state, our values are on the line. And I think everybody's excited to uh, take a stand. Part of the business that happens here is not just uh, the networking and, and kind of what you, you see around here in the exhibit hall, but there's, of course, the business of the party, right, which is not only electing party leadership, not only the platform, but also the legislative priorities, right, the issues that uh, Republican delegates here tell lawmakers like yourself, right, say this is what we want Republicans to accomplish. Um, one that you have become, I think, really the face of because of your efforts during the last session to change this practice has been ending Democrat committee chairmanships. Uh, you've made a really big push of this even in having a booth here at the convention this week. Yes, yes, and we have t-shirts. I'll, I'll show you those t-shirts real quick. Yeah, let's take a look at those t-shirts. I know we showed them on our broadcast the other day, Mike Gladwin. So we got Just Say No to Democrat Chairman. Uh, nice shirt there. And then this one, maybe my favorite, the get your jackass uh, out of my chair there. Uh, the Democrat logo is there. So, uh, you know, I think I saw a lot of people loving taking those shirts over at your booth. Uh, you're giving them away, I think, right for a, a minimum donation of small donation, yeah, five small bucks. If you if you <laughs> donated a dollar, I'd still give you yeah. one. Um, at the same time, you had the chairman of the Republican Party of Texas, Matt Rinaldi, just earlier in his own kickoff speech mentioned, mentioned exactly this issue, said yeah. that we need to end this practice. Got huge applause. Um, Currently, it's being considered to be made a legislative priority for the party. What do you think the chances are? Well, I think the chances of the delegates of the Republican Party want to end Democrat chairmanships. The problem is, is the elected Republicans don't like to listen to them all the time. So I think we're in a great spot. And, and one thing I've been telling people is you hear people talking about the red waves coming, the red waves coming. And what does that mean? We're going to take back the House in, in D.C. Nancy Pelosi is going to be fired. But in Texas, in Texas, it's a different philosophy. Republicans keep winning elections, and we give them authority they don't earn on Election Day with the voters. And so it's got to be one or the other. If you want the red wave to come and fire Pelosi, let's fire the Democrats in Texas that we promote into power. Why do you think it is? I mean, you you filed um, on you know one of the first days of the last legislative session. Filed filed multiple rules amendments to say, hey, let's end this practice, right? Let's stop Democrats from leading committee chairmanships. Let's take them out of power. Let's not give them the authority to kill Republican priorities that are supported by you know the majority of voters in the state. Um, yet those efforts last session seemed to stall really, really quickly not because of Democrat opposition, which of course they received, no. but because of a bulk of Republicans that oppose that as well. Yeah, yeah. so there's Republicans that won't be chairman because they want Democrats to have the chairmanship. That's, that's one thing. I've heard some very weird explanations. I've heard Republicans say that we, it, we have to give them something to do, as though a chair in, a, in the House committees is busy work, right? Are, are you kidding me, right? And even if it is just busy work, what's wrong with giving it to a Republican if it's not that important of a position? I've heard Republicans say that when we compromise with the Democrats, it makes us stronger. And when I hear that, it makes me laugh out loud because there's no truth in that, and it's one of the weakest comments I've ever heard. Yeah, the, the idea that, yeah, okay, that, that's a great tradition to have. Um, it certainly feels, though, like this is the first time where you've seen 
a lot of people really talking about the issue. I think in big part because of what the Democrats did last summer, right, where they left uh, and, and stalled the legislature for uh, essentially a month and a half while they galvanized off to D.C. You think that you think that's helped put a spotlight on this issue? Oh yeah, I think that helped because. Mo a lot of people know that wasn't just the Democrats that broke quorum. That was our House leadership. They broke quorum. They went to D.C. and cried to Kamala Harris and, and everybody for a month and a half. And, you know, I, the Democrats are different than years ago. We have Democrats openly, you know, they're, they're fine with the gender modification of children. They're fine with drag queen performances in front of a child uh -huh. and where the child's putting dollar bills in their, the grown man's underwear. This is not the same Democrat party of 40 years ago when Texas was flipping to, to Republican. This, this is, they're radical left, and I don't see where there's compromise on many issues. For me, I mean, I don't see there's any compromise with our gun laws. We should not be compromising and doing red flag laws. We, there's no compromise. We, we protect children at all costs from the sexualization that's going on. And, and so the idea that we have to compromise is so weak and just sets us up to fail. And uh, we need to be bold, we need to be brave and proud of our beliefs, and we need to try to implement them in public policy every chance we have. Let me ask you this, because you did bring it up. Uh, a couple weeks ago, you said uh, you would file legislation to ban ch uh, drag shows that are you know, for, for children, right? We've seen this happen in Dallas. Now I think I saw another one scheduled for uh, somewhere in the Houston area. The reaction, I think, from Democrats has been the most surprising on that, to your point, which is that you think this is something that wouldn't be a partisan issue, and yet, you know, we've seen Democrats be pretty vitriolic uh, about the suggestion. Well, yeah, I mean, we've had some Democrat voters call my office, and they agree with me on this. But we have Democrat elected officials that they're, they are uh, afraid of their base, they're afraid of the left wing of their party and they don't stand up speak out they, besides attacking us they're pretty unified and, and it's crazy they're they are unified on protecting child abuse right what a crazy stand they're taking and republicans we should jump all over that but instead we're afraid we're afraid we tiptoe into the water we should dive right in on this issue and stand up for kids but yeah the democrats they're having to they're having to support things that's exposing their agenda, the gender modification of children, the sexualization of children. That's got to stop. And there's, there's so many other issues that we differ on, and we just need to advance ours so we can show a difference. Because when we run to the middle, they get cover for their radical, crazy views. When we run to what our agenda is, they, they're exposed. And that's what brings over Democrats to our party, right? They, they decide, okay, I'm, I'm no longer a Democrat because I can't support that junk anymore. What do you think the odds are? I've asked a number of people this. Um, there's a lot of talk about a, a red wave in Texas this November, but across the country. Uh, what do you think Republicans' chances are as we look at the November election? I think the Republicans' chances are large. I think we are going to take back the House. I think we are going to give Nancy Pelosi another job uh, as far as not being Speaker of the House. And I think it's a great thing. The, the only question is, what are we going to do in Texas? Are we going to continue to win elections, continue to hold both chambers, all the statewide electeds, and then give Democrats power they don't earn election day that's the question i think republican voters around the country are going to stand up i think we're going to take charge it's just is texas going to be bold or are we going to be weak last question how can people whether they're delegates uh right here at the convention or maybe they're people watching from home people who didn't come to the convention how can they help make this a priority right getting rid of democrat committee chairs well um talk to everyone you know and make sure they're on board with the idea of banning Democrat chairman. You can come by my booth, you can get a t-shirt, you can sign up a petition, you can go to my website, brianslayton.com, talk to your uh, elected official, ask them to get on board, and if they don't want to get on board, we'll ask them why. And if they're gonna, if they're gonna cater to the Democrats, you just need to ask yourself why you're gonna vote for them again in the future. Because I don't understand why 
why as Republicans we are going to defend their leadership position, which lets them kill our policies. How is that a good thing for our party? It's not. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for joining us, uh, Representative Slayton. And everybody watching at home, please uh, be sure to uh, continue to check out our Facebook here as we continue having live videos right here from the Republican Party of Texas's convention in Houston and more coverage at texasscorecard.com. Thanks for joining.